Okay, yeah, so this is a quick one, yeah. Real funny story. I've got loads of them. I'm going to write a book one day. So, yeah, so um, I knew I was going to America in the year 2000. And in my flat, I had, like, my decks. I'd sold my record de or I was selling my record decks. But I also had a load of keyboards. And one keyboard was this... Um, was this really weird keyboard that just made noise like it just made noises like that it was amazing and then like every time you press the key like so anyway in my advert i said selling 70s keyboard makes makes weird church sounds that's what i said in my advert so that's what i said in the advert makes weird like church sounds and um so yeah so i put that in the advert anyway these two guys came i can't remember where they come up from but it weren't from birmingham so they come up from wherever they come from because i put it on a on a uh, international ad i think i put it in music magazine or something like that so these two guys come and uh, they said, um, obviously two white guys and like I've got like my flat set up nice, nice with the decks and the speakers and the keyboard, everything set up, looks sick. So anyway, so they've turned up and they said, oh yeah, yeah, we, we're drum and bass producers and that. And I looked at them and I was like, really? Do you get what I mean? I was like, really? How are you drum and bass producers? Be only because, yeah, I've been going to drum and bass for years and I've never really associated drum and bass with white guys. I just never, never associated <coughs> them with it. But the truth is, yeah, it, 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 so anyway, I never thought anything of it. They didn't tell me their names. I didn't know who they were. So I just thought... And they, they, sold, they bought it off me. I think they bought it for good money as well, you know. A couple of, I think it was about 100 quid or something like that that they bought it for. So they, they bought, bought it off me for some good money. So anyway, um, thought nothing of it. I haven't even thought about that since then. And this was in 1999. So anyway, I was watching a drum and bass documentary the other day. And it was Ed Rush and Optical. And they showed the keyboard that I'd, that I'd sold them. The, on, the, on the thing, they showed the keyboard. I was like, no way, I, show, I sold that to them. Obviously, they wouldn't remember me. Obviously, they might remember buying it. But they wouldn't remember me. But, but I, um, I was like, no way, I sold them that keyboard. When I saw it on the drum and bass documentary. So I thought, oh, amazing. So, but... But yeah, I think I got it from like um, from like some kind of clearance place or something. Like for and I, I I'd had it for a few years, and I knew that when I was going to America, I just wanted so much stuff sold, and at my flat, and I just wanted cash in my pocket, and uh, a lot of my cash got stolen by a guy called Sullivan Phillips, and if you're watching this, you're a skunk, you're a snake. You are absolute wretch on this planet to steal money off me and pretend that it wasn't you. You absolute, I won't swear on my channel, but you are, you are lowest of the low. Do you understand me? Anyway, just to go back on the light thing. So, um, so yeah, so that's it. Funny story. Ed Rush and Optical. So I'd like to think that I've played a part in Ed Rush and Optical, um, their production uh, histories. Nice one, guys. See you in a bit. Bye.